membranes are structures of contradictions. These oily films are hundreds of times thinner than a strand of spider silk, yet strong enough to protect the delicate contents of life. The cell's watery cytoplasm, genetic material, organelles, and all the molecules it needs to survive. How does the membrane work, and where does that strength come from? First of all, it's tempting to think of a cell membrane like the tight skin of a balloon, but it's actually something much more complex. In reality, it's constantly in flux, shifting components back and forth to help the cell take in food, remove waste, let specific molecules in and out, communicate with other cells, gather information about the environment, and repair itself. The cell membrane gets this resilience, flexibility, and functionality by combining a variety of floating components in what biologists call a fluid mosaic. The primary component of the fluid mosaic is a simple molecule called a phospholipid. A phospholipid has a polar, electrically charged head, which attracts water, and a nonpolar tail, which repels it. They pair up tail to tail in a two layer sheet just five to ten nanometers thick that extends all around the cell. The heads point in towards the cytoplasm and out towards the watery fluid external to the cell, with the lipid tails sandwiched in between. This bilayer, which at body temperature has the consistency of vegetable oil, is studded with other types of molecules, including proteins, carbohydrates, and cholesterol. Cholesterol keeps the membrane at the right fluidity. It also helps regulate communication between cells. Sometimes cells talk to each other by releasing and capturing chemicals and proteins. The release of proteins is easy, but the capture of them is more complicated. That happens through a process called endocytosis, in which sections of the membrane engulf substances and transport them into the cell as vesicles. Once the contents have been released, the vesicles are recycled and returned to the cell membrane. The most complex components of the fluid mosaic are proteins. One of their key jobs is to make sure that the right molecules get in and out of the cell. Nonpolar molecules like oxygen, carbon dioxide, and certain vitamins can cross the phospholipid bilayer easily. But polar and charged molecules can't make it through the fatty inner layer. Transmembrane proteins stretch across the bilayer to create channels that allow specific molecules through, like sodium and potassium ions. Peripheral proteins floating in the inner face of the 